Hello, hello! Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you are safe and doing well. Before I get started, I've got a little announcement. My friends at Emptying the Clips comic, Decora Demon, and Hard Decora, they have both organized the very first International Decora Day! Yay! So this is going to be a celebration on the last Saturday of every July. This is going to be a yearly thing, but this is going to be the very first one. And this year, it's going to be on July 31st. It's going to be a day to celebrate our Decora style, any sub-styles you love, and to share the love of the style with fellow fashion lovers and with those who might not know what it is. Some ideas to celebrate the day are to create your first Decora outfit, draw your OCs in Decora fashion, buy art and apparel from indie artists, make some candy and clips, hang out virtually with fellow Decora kids, etc. As for myself, I will be live streaming on my YouTube channel and I'm going to be pasting as many stickers on my face that I can as possible and counting how how many <laughs> that I can put on my face. It'll also in part be a celebration of reaching 30k on here, which I am extremely grateful for. I'll have more information about it in the community tab very soon, but make sure that you save July, July, July 31st on your calendar so that we can all celebrate this amazing style together. Thank you so much. So on to the topic of today, which is phone charms. Ta-da! If you have been keeping up with trends, 90s and early 2000s Y2K style and aesthetic is back and is very in right now. This is very exciting for 90s babies like me because it is a way for us to do things that we weren't able to do in our childhood when we were younger because either our parents wouldn't let us or we just had no monies. And now that we're older and we have jobs, we are able to acquire these things. On top of that, fashion is cyclical. So the 20 year rule is a popular concept within the fashion industry and based on this, what's popular now will more or less come back in around like 20-ish years and become popular again. One thing that was popular 20 years ago in the 2000s were phone charms. So phone charms are these little dangly things that you can connect to your mobile device. And back then phones, especially flip phones, they had like a dedicated hole where you could string phone charms of your choice. People like putting these phone charms on their phones for various reasons. So some people, they would use it as a way to decorate their phones, to show their style, their personality, their interests, and some charms were functional. So they use it as a screen cleaner, pill case, mini coin purse. And there were some that flash when there was an incoming call, which was like really cool for that time. Some others would use the strap to carry their phone around, like a little bag. It was a huge cultural phenomenon, but before it was popular in the United States, it was extremely popular in Japan. I'm not entirely sure if it first originated in Japan, but the phone charms of today's Japan are part of a tradition dating back many centuries to the Omamori amulets and Nitsuke of of ancient Japan. To the people living in these times, these were kind of equivalent to phone charms. But instead of hanging on their phones, which you know they obviously didn't have because that was 300 years ago, phones weren't invented yet, Japanese people wore kimono in daily life that did not have any pockets and they placed their valuables such as money and medicine in small bags which dangled from their waist. During this time period, Nitsuke was used as a way to firmly hold their bags and it kind of worked like a drawstring basically. Nitsuke had decorations resembling small dolls which stuck out from the top of the obi belt and in time, these evolved into trendy items and objects of art. 
Another popular phone charm coming out of traditional Japanese culture and spirituality are omamori amulets. So kind of something like this right over here. These have been used for good luck and protection from evil spirits for many centuries. Some serve a specific purpose like protection from illness, prosperity in business or romance, and even protection for pets and from traffic accidents. As you can see, phone charms have a very rich history and there are so many kinds out there like Hello Kitty phone charms, ones that look like anime characters, some that look like food, and I have personally been collecting them for a while, so I am going to be giving you a little tour of all the ones that I have today. I got most of my phone charms from Japan through Bai, and if you'd like to know how to buy from them, I've got a full video all about that called how to buy secondhand clothing from Japan and it works for phone charms as well and pretty much any other thing that you can buy from Japan you can get on Baiyi. I personally like using Baiyi to find phone charms other than places like Depop or Etsy because I've tried looking for phone charms on there but I end up usually finding those beaded kinds like kind of like this that are very popular right now but if you'd like to try out Baiyi you can use the link that is in the description below. Alrighty so I will go ahead and start first with the ones that are on my phone. So I've got like this octopus dude, this is Azunyan from K-On! and I've got this frog and there's just so much on here it's so hard to <laughs> <laughs> to look through it with one hand, but there's also Hamtaro, Pomponet, um, this glittery thing. I'm not exactly sure what exactly it is. There, did I did I already mention Doraemon? This takoyaki head dude, this caterpillar. I like the baby version of this. This is the mama, and this is the baby. So that that, and then I've also got a. What you call these things? The um, kappa. Yeah, I've got a kappa, and he has like noodle arms and legs. It's really cute. And frog. Yes, there's so much frog going on. And from Tamagotchi, this is ku kuchipachi. Some something kupachi, little dude. The little shrimp dude is actually from Etsy. I bought it from an artist on Etsy. And then the beaded one I made myself. And then I have the rest of them hanging on this wire grid thing since all of them can't really fit on my phone sadly. So I've got it all hanging in color order. So I've started with my red ones. These are both just like the tiny Azunyan that I had on my phone. I've got Azunyan in a cup. And this is Yui, they are both from K-On! And then this one right here, these are little like donut hole birds. And it says right here, Di Pico, Di Pipico, Pond de Lion and his sweet friends. So in Japan, they have Mr. Donuts, just kind of like Dunkin' Donuts, but the... Uh, the donuts there are like really delicious and they've got donut holes too so they made little mascot characters for their donuts and then i've also got ponyo right here ponyo is my favorite studio ghibli film so i had to get a ponyo for my collection and also this random cherry and a lot of these things that i got them because they're things that i like um but yeah <laughs> so stuff from shows and games that i like so for example i got this this is like the taiko drum game is like my favorite one of my favorite rhythm games i'm a huge rhythm game fan this is from the i think if i'm not mistaken asahi yama it's on the back hold on asahi yama yeah it's from the asahi yama zoo and it is a giraffe and case in a cube <laughs> there's like a little bell too a lot of phone charms have little bell thingies this funky looking creature right here is called moja i actually got two of these i got this orange one and then i've also got a green one right here it reminds me of those mcdonald's creature things i don't know if anybody remembers but back in the day there were these mcdonald's characters 
that kind of look like this. Another Tamagotchi character. I'm a huge fan of Tamagotchi. Oh, and the iconic Mameti. He's got a little bit of a ding on his eye, but ain't he a beaut? Next, this is one of the characters from Dodaimon. This one, okay, I'm not sure where this lion is from. If anybody knows, please let me know. I'm not sure if this is the same lion as this one, but they look like they could be cousins. And then I've got this like beaded, I think this is a deer, either a deer or a giraffe. But I really like these beaded kinds, they look really cute. So this one has a little springy spring and it is a mushroom. This is one of my favorite manga, it's called Yotsuba. And this is Yotsuba, she's really adorable and goes through some really interesting things in her life. So I really recommend that manga, it's very good. And also if you're trying to like learn Japanese, it is a good one for beginners. Right here, it's like this kind of vial full of water, I think, and little fruit slices. I thought it was really adorable. What does it say on it? Fruit tea, good time, heck yeah. And more Tamagotchi stuff. This is the front, and this is the back. It says Tamagotchi or Tamagotches up there. And this, my, I think this is my biggest um, phone charm. But it is a spoon with a spy of Omo rice. Isn't it amazing? It looks so realistic too. That that literally looks like egg and ketchup and rice. And I'm pretty sure this is an actual spoon. There's a lot of weight to this, so I don't know how someone could hang this on their phone, but it's incredible. Now for more food items, I've got these two potato chips. Don't they look so real? Like all the details in it, it's incredible. And then for all the green things, I've got this fuzzy frog. And this is another frog. I'm not entirely sure what the name of this character is, but it's really adorable. And it has this clear thingy with tadpoles on it. And then right here, I think this is, yeah, this is my only Hello Kitty charm that I have, but she's making a really silly face. And she actually, she kind of looks like she's pointing the middle finger <laughs> a little bit. So that's why I wanted to have her because she kind of looked like she's like flicking you off. <laughs> So yeah, this is the the Moja Moja character. It says Moja, and what right, right, right here? This is a San X character. I think this is supposed to be like a, a Marimo ball. Mar, Mar, yeah, Marimo ball. And this is that amulet thing that I was talking about earlier. Okay, let's see if I can read it. Gumachang, Omamori. Is that the name of the character? Perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. And that says Guma-chan. I can only read <laughs> Here I got I got the color, but I cannot read kanji sadly. So if anybody knows, I would appreciate you letting me know. And the next one I have more Azunya. <laughs> so she's my favorite character from K-On! And here is a turtle. I got this dude from Daiso and Daiso has some cute phone charms there, but this one actually, he smells like a melon pan. This is a melon pan turtle. So I, I was so excited when I found it. And right here, this is a fishy fish. And I like how the eyes are just like brain empty, no thoughts. <laughs> and this is the mascot for QOO, which is a drink that I drank growing up in Singapore. I love, I love QOO a lot. And more Mr. Donut Mat. So this is the main mascot. This is Ponda Lion and his like the lion's mane is like a mochi donut. Ain't it cute? Wow. Next up are these three adorable monkeys. Me no see, me no speak. Wait, I mean here no no evil speak no evil wait. 
see yeah something about evils and monkeys but yeah ain't it cute i i i'm not wrong this is from like a specific prefecture in japan but i just realized that it can actually do something so there's a hole at the top and when you shake it one of the little things is supposed to come out if it just yeah ta -da! and let's see what does it say Alright, I can't read that kanji, so never mind. <laughs> and next up, another Taiko Drum character. This is another fuzzy friend. This is a penguin. And this is another penguin, also from the Asahiyama Zoo. It doubles as a ba bam mirror! Whoa! And it's, cool. and it's so glittery too, which is really cute. And then I've also got this glittery, glittery, glittery Mount Fuji. It's so cute! Oh, I just realized it has little angel wings on it. Also a bell. And more tamagotchi. It says mamech. Mamechi. Ma. Man. <laughs> and then... This is the only purple one I have, but it's a chupa chups. It's a lollipop. And it also doubles as a pen. I'm not sure if it still works, but... And then on to my pink ones, I've got another Tamagotchi character. And this is like one of my favorite ones. It's a freaking croc! It's a strawberry croc! So I haven't been able to find any of these strawberry crocs in the wild. But look, it even, the strap part moves too. And yeah, now I have this tiny croc and I like to play around with it and pretend that um my hand is a tiny monster and I'm not. <laughs> this one right here this is from kura sushi which uh they have locations here in america and it's like a revolving sushi place and it's really del uh, really delicious i highly encourage you to go check it out and the sushi is really affordable too but as you can see i think that's a little bunny yep a bunny shaped like sushi it's so freaking cute. And then I've also got this Pretz. It's kind of like Pocky. And it's kind of like the monkeys earlier. Oh, so this one shows like weather and stuff. And this says... Amit, which is rain. So I'm guessing it's gonna rain tomorrow? Maybe? I don't know. It's Arizona. It hasn't rained in 10 years, so who knows. <laughs> and then I've also got this Caltico drink. Has a tiny can of Calpico in it says Calpis water. And then I have this rainbow banana, which is squishy and a rainbow croissant. Yeah! And this one right here is not really like a phone charm, but it's more like a keychain. But you want to see what's like really cool about it? When you open the afro, ba bam! It's a mirror! Inside and it has a comb too. I don't think this has been open for like how many years, but I'm, I'm probably just gonna leave the plastic on there. But like, this is so freaking cool. It's it's amazing. I'm so happy. I love my collection so much. Oh, actually, I've got more. Hold on, hold on. Last but not least, last but not least, last but not least, I have this bag of unopened charms because. I just, I, I'm like, I'm so scared to open it for some reason, but I've got another one of these dudes, just like the comb mirror that I have. I've got a phone strap for it, and then I've also got this, it's from the company called Daikin, and I got it because it's like all rainbow and stuff. And this one actually, I think, uh, yeah, it says not for sale because I think they gave these out for free to customers. And this one, it says not done and it is a phone charm, but it doubles as a screen cleaner as well as a mirror. So you use this white part to like clean your screen. More froggies, this is Sergeant Kiraro on a deer. And my two prize Evangelion school phone charms. This is Asuka and Ray, and look how happy they look. The, it makes me so happy looking at them, even though I know in the show they are actually hurting inside, but yay, at least they're happy somewhere. 
Yay! <laughs> so yeah, that is my collection. So those are all my phone charms. I really hope that you enjoyed going through all of it with me. If you would like to learn how to make your very own phone charm or how to attach it to your phone, please watch my next YouTube video where I go through it step by step. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!